So, One Piece chapter 839. Very good chapter. The stuff with Sanji was great. I have been saying we haven't really been getting enough Sanji in the year of Sanji, but now we're getting a lot of it. Now, the best part of the chapter, in my opinion, is the stuff with Ichiji, with Niji. I always think it's Ichiji for some reason, but with Niji and Sanji. Now, what happens is that they're eating dinner, and each Niji is pretty much talking about how when they were all kids, they would talk and joke about all the funny ways Sanji could die at sea on his own after he disappeared. We don't get any more on Sanji disappearing and leaving. We obviously know the reason that Sanji left is because his family, every, every member of his family is an asshole. So we know that's why he left. That's all we get. We don't know anything else. But that, that was good. And then there's this great part where Sanji kind of ignores it. He's so used to them abusing him. He ignores it. He's like, yo, finish your food. And Niji tells Sanji, no, I don't feel like it. And he called this woman, the cook, out. And I forgot her name. But the girl comes out. And he, he they get into an argument. And then he calls the girl out. He throws the food at the girl. And Sanji catches it with his hand. Nobody catches it with his hand. He doesn't use his leg. I found that very interesting. I have no theories on that. But I did find it pretty impressive that Sanji was able to grab the plate with his hand so quickly. Yes, but he stopped it from hitting the girl in the face. But the food on it spilled on the floor, and there's this amazing thing where Sanji freaks out, he pretty much said, you royal pieces of shit have no value in the food, you have no idea how much that, how much work went into this, so he gets on the ground, and he starts explaining what the dish is, now I'm not going to go over that, it's not really too important, it's just the character moment itself, he's explaining it, he talks about how the woman must have started preparing the meal at sunrise, she must have been slaving over this all day and it, it's amazing because he then starts eating it off of the floor and I'm just like this is this is one of Sanji's character points it's a character that we all love it's not about him being a pervert him being strong it's his it's a lot of his morals and values that a lot of people like a lot of people love stuff like this from Sanji I love it it's really good because he starts eating it off of the floor and, and the girl is freaking out, like, yo, you're royalty, you shouldn't be doing it. And Sanji ignores her. He's like, no, I won't let this food go to waste. Great stuff. And then, so then, uh, Niji and him are about to fight. Niji is about to, he charges at him, he kicks him, and there's like a shockwave of, like, wind behind him. But then, Judge interferes, and he's like, no, the wedding is tomorrow. Yeah, so the wedding's tomorrow. Not before the wedding, Niji. So with me, Sanji will be in trouble after the wedding, but right now, they're good. Okay, let's move on to something else to talk about, uh, the rest of the chapter. The next thing that happened was we had all the stuff with, uh, the Sanji and the rest of his family. So, uh, after Sanji, you stood up for the girl, talked about how he would never let anybody hurt a lady, and it's just great, all that stuff was great. But there's this point with Judd, where Judd pretty much tells Sanji. That he needs to set aside his old beliefs. And he needs to do what they say and be cooperative. And apparently, Tagoma had given me information that they had obtained on this. This. To Judge. So Vince Smoke Judge now knows about the man who raised Sanji. And he's saying, could, could, perhaps could the way you have turned out be the fault of this man, death? We also know that he, they also know that Sanji worked at the Barate. They know where he works. They know all of it. And Sanji's like pale. He's like horrified. He's like, no, not them. And we get flashbacks to a lot of the events with him growing up. With Zeph. With Zeph, you know, sacrificing his leg for Sanji. With Zeph teaching Sanji how to cook. With, with Zeph, you know, belittling Sanji and getting all mad at him when he like goes after the women. And just, and he gets distracted by the women and great. We get last match to when Sanji leaves the Barate and you know he tells Sanji not to catch a cold and to be stay healthy and to be careful. It's just so 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 good. It's so good. It really is amazing if you ask me. It's amazing. It's some of it's the chapter so good. And then they pretty much say you wouldn't want anything to happen to him. 
but they pretty much tell Donnie that he needs to cut his ties with his old friends and everybody else, or they're going to send somebody after his death, and that, and that will make uh, the ult ultimately will die. That's what they think. That will die. It's not even not go through with this wedding. Now, I think some people say that Riju may, um, well, actually, no, I'll say that for later, but, so after that discussion happens, you know, they're gonna kind of, we kind of, like, skip over, Donnie kind of walks out of the room, he's thrown out, and he needs to cook, the woman from earlier, beat up, like, really beat up, like, it, it, I actually didn't recognize her at first, it's bad, and Donnie said that, uh, Niji, the one who did this, is not even scum, he's, he's the shit that is beneath scum. That's what Sanji says about him, but I kind of agree. He beat up this poor woman because Sanji, because he knows Sanji hates seeing women get hurt, and he knows there's nothing Sanji can do to stop him. So, good Oda. No, but, um, Sanji's like, what kind of man would beat a woman like this? Like, Sanji, it, it, it doesn't make sense to him. It really doesn't. He's like, you have to be the lowest of the low, and I, I, I can't be related to these people. It's mind-boggling to him. It's great. And Ichiji is like, hey, you, it must, you must be kind of annoyed knowing the culprit is, most, like, is almost certainly Niji. I'll take you to him. And they take him to this room. This is the big cliffhanger. Filled with all these people, and these clones, and let me get out the other weapons that are on me. I do not, but it's like NS S twenty, MT fifty. It's all these like sequences of letters and numbers. I'm assuming it's cloning. I noticed some of them look like Virgo, and some of the people in the pods look like Jim Bay. I don't have much to say on that. I'll probably do a video or a discussion on that alone on a later date. That's more likely how I'm gonna handle that because that's something I really need to sit down and really think about. Sorry about that, had to burp. No, but, um, very good chapter. Now, I do want to address a couple things. Some people for a while now have been saying the possibility of Riju being, or Reiju being on Sanji's side. Riju definitely, I mean, because I guess it's because she's a woman, I would assume, had somewhat some kind of respect for Sanji. Because of how we stood up for the woman, like the peasant woman, like, you know, she commented, like, what a, what a gentleman. Like, she, she had some level of respect for him. But this is a manga with no voices. We can't really tell. For all we know, she could have been being sarcastic and being like, oh, what a pathetic piece of garbage standing up for this pathetic piece of garbage woman, peasant girl. Like, clearly, I understand if you did that for someone as amazing as me, I'm royalty. But she's a peasant. Who cares what happened to her? She could have been, she could have been meaning it like that. But if, if you all look at me, it like, seriously, like, my brother is a gentleman, he's a good guy. Like, he, he's not a bad person. So, people have been saying maybe Reiju's a good person, maybe he'll help Sanji. Um, Reiju, but only Vince Smoke, I'll give you all this. That being painted in a way where she could become good later on. Where she could side with Sanji. It's pretty damn unlikely. Because it, but if it's, I'm assuming going to be the Straw Hat versus the Vin Smokes. And she's the only female, and Nami always fights a female, and Nami definitely getting a fight this arc. So, I would assume Nami would fight her, but who knows, maybe, maybe Reiju will be good, and Nami will fight a guy. Or maybe Nami will fight like a clone of Reiju, because those things at the end of the chapter could be clones. I don't know. But, I mean, Reiju being good is... The possibility is there. In it. The Reju helping Sanji out later on, gaining respect for him, and good. If anything, I think it would be like maybe Reju gets torn, like he's torn between helping her brother and, and siding with her family. And her brother's captain, Luffy, showed up. Luffy does something. That Luffy will probably do something if Reju does turn good. Luffy will do something. And she'll be like, no wonder my brother is willing to die for this man. Like, I'm going to help my brother help this man accomplish his goal. That is one possibility. Possibility. There are tons of possibilities. There really are. But tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comments. If I had to rate it, I would give it 10 out of 10. I'm going to be honest. 
10 out of 10, no problem. This is a, this is a really good chapter. It really is. In the year of Tanji, we're getting Tanji. It's everything I want out of the One Piece chapter. It's everything I've been wanting for a while now. It's really good. There I mean, wasn't any two major revelation, but just the storytelling and the characters and the events were all really on point. 10 out of 10, nothing wrong with it. Definitely worth reading. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more One Piece reviews, series, and discussions. And above all else, guys, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation, signing out.